So I'm waiting in line to buy the official Hillary Clinton for president poster. It's such a striking image, I feel like I need to own one personally. Is that the official Hillary poster? The That's what the company has. The yeah, I'm going to do rights. the large. That's what they Thank you. In, so okay, I'll take yeah, one. You call it them. They all say tongue poster. <laughs> It, it does invoke some history, doesn't it? You look at it and say, that looks familiar. That background. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yep. Who's next? Yes. So I'm here at the Democratic National Convention. I bought my first souvenir. Check out this official Hillary Clinton poster. The imagery is striking, isn't it? It looks familiar. It's invoking something in world history. So I Googled it. And you should Google it too. Google Chairman Mao, and you'll discover that this is classic Chinese communist imagery, clearly ripped directly from history. And I'm, I'm wondering why would any American politician associate herself with Mao's brutal, bloody legacy? Does no one remember the 45 million people that died under the Chinese experiment in socialism? The Great Leap Forward, where Chairman Mao literally tried to redesign the Chinese economy from the top down, forcing farmers into the steel mills. It was a disaster. People starved. Millions and millions of people starved. So much so that cannibalism was actually a thing in communist China. So here I am at the DNC, and like it or not, they're celebrating the imagery of Chairman Mao. Philosophical question, what the f is going on? 